So what I want you to do is pause this video and think about what fraction the red part represents in each of these, I guess each of these shapes, or what fraction of the whole does the red part represent. And I also want you to plot it out on a number line, to plot that fraction as a number on a number line. So let's go through each of these. So in this pie right over here, we have one, two, three, four, five equal sections, and one of those five equal sections is shaded in. So we could say that one-fifth of this pie is shaded in. Now over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal sections, and two of them are shaded in. So we could say that two-tenths are shaded in. And then finally, right over here, once again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal sections. 10 equal sections, and two of them are shaded in red. So in this situation, the red, of the red slices represent 2 tenths of the whole. And if we were to try to plot this on a number line, so right over here, let me do a quick one right over here. Let me, actually let me do it like this. Let me make a big number line here. And let's take the section between Zero and one, that's what we want to focus on. And I'm going to divide it into five equal sections. So one, two, three, four, five equal sections. And then that gets us to one. So this right over here, one fifth, that would be one out of the five equal sections. So that would get us right over there. So this would be, this would be one fifth. Now what I want to do, let me copy and paste this same number line since I've already drawn it. Copy and paste it. So let me put it right over here. But now I'm going to divide it into 10 equal sections. So if we take, let's see, let me divide it into 10 equal sections on the top one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've divided it into 10 equal sections, and I want to figure out where two tenths goes. So I'm going to go two of those equal sections. So one, two. So once again, I've got to that exact same point. So this one fifth, I could also represent as two over 10. So I could represent this as two over 10, this point right over here. And you might be saying, hey, wait, but that means that those are the same number. They're the exact same point on the number line. And if you said that, you would be absolutely correct. One fifth is equal to two tenths. They represent the exact same number. And it makes sense even when you visually look at them as a fraction of these pies. Here, going from this, this slice to this slice, if you, were to just, if you were to just divide all of these slices into two, if you just divide all of these slices into two, you see that you have the exact same fraction. You have the exact same fraction shaded in as this one right over here. They've become identical. I didn't shade in anything else. I haven't taken any of the red away. I haven't added any of the red. I just divided all of those, all of those pieces of pie into two. And so you see that the exact same part of the whole pie is shaded in. And here it's not quite as obvious, but if you imagined taking this, dividing it into two, and then splitting them up so that they look like this, you still have the same part of the circle you still have the same part of the circle shaded in red. So it makes complete sense that they represent the same number on the number line, that this number right over here, it's not only 1 fifth, it also is 2 tenths. 1 fifth is equal to 2 tenths.